Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be talking about viz groups and their effectiveness for when you're designing uh, big levels or really detailed levels. Uh, I'm also going to talk about the, uh, the uses of uh, cordon and cordon states. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right because apparently I'm illiterate. If you've watched my other videos you'll know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to cover viz groups first. Viz groups are, it's kind of like uh, Hammer's attempt to make different levels, or not levels, but uh, layers, my bad. Layers that you can kind of toggle on and off, hence the name visible, like viz, visible, viz groups. With viz groups, like I said, you can, uh, you can either make your own or you can use the ones that Hammer generates, uh, the default ones. Um, it's really useful for like, you know, I don't know, let's say if your level is getting really complex and you're looking in your grids and it gets really convoluted with all kinds of geometry or, like, look at this. I mean, you can't, I don't know what the heck that is. Can you? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, so you can basically, it's a its a way of hiding uh, areas or, you know, designated objects that you want to hide so that you can see your level or for whatever purpose you want to hide them temporarily or permanently. Um, <laughs> like, for example, um, let's say if I wanted to make one of this lighthouse, like I wanted to hide this lighthouse for for whatever reason. Uh, let me expand this. I'm going to just select all its parts, or a couple of its parts. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do it over here. Duh. Oops, I want to move that. There you go. Hit enter. I said enter. There you go. Now I have this selection. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, hit this red cube right here. It says new viz group. I'm going to hit it. Window will pop up. And from here, you can change the name of the group. I'm just going to call it Lighthouse for right now. I'm going to hit OK. And now, if I look over here into the user tab under viz group, this viz group panel, you'll see this new uh, lighthouse uh, viz group. And there's a check mark showing that it's on. You can turn it off by hitting the check mark and oh, it's all gone. Now it's hidden. And now I can, you know, get in here easier or I don't know, whatever you have to do. And then to turn it back on, you, you just check it. To delete a viz group, or if you, you know, you had a lot of viz groups that you know, you don't want anymore or something. Uh, I'm going to go to edit. This little edit button right here. Um, all this stuff is all the automatic generated ones. Um, here's the one I want to delete. I'm going to select it and then hit remove. And it's gone. Or it should be gone. Yeah, okay, now it's gone from this tab. I was kind of confused for a moment, like, why didn't it disappear? But uh, anyway, now I'll talk about the automatic ones. The automatic ones are pretty pretty darn, darn useful. <laughs> um, you, let's say, for example, I wanted to get rid of all the entities, like entities being props, player spawns, uh, cube maps, lights, whatever. I can go ahead and hide those, and then I can just see the raw geometry of my level. I'm going to go uncheck entities, and boom, there. Now I can just, you know, look around my raw, the raw geometry. You can do the same thing um, with other entities like lights. You can get rid of all the lights or uh, brush entities, um, ladders, clippings. Clippings are pretty useful to hide. Like let's say if you're, you know, taking a, a screenshot to show your buddies or something, you can get rid of the clips so you can, you know, see what you're looking at now. Got rid of these player clips that were kind of sporadically drawn everywhere. Get rid of no draw. You know, the list goes on and on. The next thing I'm going to show you is uh, cordon, and um, basically a uh, cordon state is basically you draw a cube and everything within that cube is going to be shown while everything is going to be hidden. So like, let's say if I go into this building here and I'm working in this, this little uh, this, this hotel lobby type room, uh, I can go ahead and you know, I'm working in here. If I'm working in here, like, let me go find it. I mean, I can't... It's pretty difficult to see what I'm looking at in the grid space because it's so convoluted with all kinds of other junk. So what you could do 
is create one of these spaces. And by creating this space, um, basically you're going to hit this button right here, cord unbound, or yeah, bounds, and um, click and drag it out if there isn't one already. And then you can move it around, or you can change the size by clicking on the blue squares, change the size of it on your grid space. And then once you have what you want, you're going to hit the toggle button. This looks like it's a black and yellow square. You hit that, and then boom, everything is hidden. And then you just have this one room that you can work in. And so now it's it's a lot easier to look what I, you know to see, to understand what I'm looking at within the grid space. Very very useful tool, especially for you know when you're designing really large levels or really detailed levels. Um, it's it's incredibly useful. Uh, yep. One thing I forgot to mention about viz groups that that makes them really useful. Like let's say if I'm working in here and I want to back off, like I want to see it from farther away, and then you have all these uh, you know I have all these ceilings in the way. In this case, I could probably just turn off no draw and then just see the room, but if that doesn't fit your liking. I mean, you can just get rid of all the ceilings altogether. We're going to make a little viz group of these ceilings. Um, hit new group. I'm just going to hit ceiling. OK. And then I have this user group. Undo it. And there you go. Now I can see this, this room without the ceiling in the way. And like I said, both those... I don't know what reminded me to go back and do that, but um, yeah, both of those uh, tools are very useful, like I said. Um, yep, so until next time, uh, have a good day.